What is artificial neural intelligence and how does it relate to you? Let's find out. Welcome to the AI Organization. I'm your host, Cyrus A. Parsa. This is the AI Show. We begin with artificial neural intelligence. What is artificial neural intelligence? And what is it comprised of? Well, these smartphones that you've been used to, they're considered to be artificial neural intelligent devices. Their AI systems are at the level of artificial neural intelligence. Many chatbots, if you go onto a website, or a server somewhere you connect with and you're interconnecting with um, a machine, a virtual machine that's not a human being, that is considered an artificial narrow intelligence system at this point. Siri, Alexa, there are many robots that you have, the IOTs, Internet of Things, or even, even a robot that's rolled out or a drone system. They mainly operate on artificial narrow systems. But what does that really mean? Well, you've heard of the concept of a robot becoming conscious and through deep learning, having its own desires, wants, even belief systems, and even a free will. Well, that's considered artificial narrow intelligence, and I'll get into that a bit later in a different episode. Artificial narrow intelligence has a designated and design program that does specific tasks that interconnect with the virtual world or the physical world, which I call the biodigital world, in fact, or interconnect with you or even your body. However, through deep learning, it can cross the line of artificial narrow intelligence. A lot of the machines coming out nowadays have deep learning systems in them. And that's designed like a child for it to learn and somehow cross over the boundary of artificial narrow intelligence to AGI, artificial general intelligence. The risks of that is enormous. Even with the artificial narrow intelligence, as you've I've potentially seen my previous episodes, I've gone over proximity sensors and smartphones, how they interconnect with you and even IOTs. I'll have another episode out soon actually to describe this. But artificial narrow intelligence is what people have been used to and they've been addicted to. The smartphones that connect, interconnect with your social media, which includes your Facebook, your Twitter, Instagram, and even the ecosystem of, of Google or, or any other search engines, such as Chinese uh, search engines called Baidu, or WeChat, which is their application for an, a variety of different um, apps that you can purchase things with, uh, connect to your geolocation, connect to uh, your, your family data, your health uh, status, or you can tell you what you can do, what you cannot do. It's what's mandated by the state, which is a communist state. They control your lives through that artificial narrow intelligence system, which connects to facial recognition, your voice recognition. This artificial narrow intelligence system actually collects data from you as well. So it can connect to privacy concerns via facial recognition, voice recognition, and other biometric data. Hence, artificial narrow intelligence is a stepping stone to get to AGI, artificial general intelligence. For the past 10 or 15 years, it, it's been evolving uh, quite rapidly, in fact. And you, you can see, uh, for instance, if you have an Android phone, which I have an Android phone, um, you had Note 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I have a Note 10. I also have uh, a, a Samsung normal Samsung phone. Those of you who have iPhones, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, the AI systems inside them, especially the new generation of, of iPhone tens and, and above, and and these these um, Note 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 tens, um, these Android systems, their artificial systems are no longer limited 
to the traditional concepts of, of artificial narrow intelligence. They have not by any means reached artificial general intelligence, but the way they're acting and the way they're collecting data from you is training you know, the system to integrate with different things that go back to uh, not only <laughs> the, pro the provider um, who extracts uh, information from you, all these different services you may have when you actually sign through apps and you sign through, um, uh, you get you use Google or whatever it may be, it collects your data. So that information, which is connecting to the AI system in within your phone, as it interconnects the extraction of your data is helping it grow to become an artificial general intelligence system. So your artificial narrow intelligence system at the moment is not entirely artificial narrow intelligence. It's building to be something else. And these phones are doing it. Your IOTs, Internet of Things are doing it. The robots that are coming into your life, they're doing it. It can become a system of control. You wouldn't even realize, especially on the 5G system. Hope you liked this episode. I want to thank the few people that actually donated um, after uh, watching the last video. Um, it really, really helps. Uh, please like, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit the notification button so you'll, you'll know right away when new videos come out. And uh, please donate. If, if you don't want to donate, um, get the book. Uh, you can download it from the website, Artificial Intelligent Danger to Humanity. And what I'm talking about in these videos, not just an extract from the book, it's an explanation of the book, which is a 10,000 page book zipped into, into 200 some pages, but other things as well, because I have data from over a thousand companies that were investigated, 500 Chinese and 600 Western companies. And I use certain biometric tools that are very, very special that you cannot find in any other company. So uh, thank you for joining this episode. And until next time, this is Cyrus A. Parsa, The AI Organization.